There was a time when war movies and TV series in China were one of the main propaganda tools and carried a purely spirit-lifting patriotic charge, but with the development of internet movies, they are increasingly tilted toward straightforward action movies, in which real historical events are needed mainly to get away from censors. Lethal Flower, which in the retelling sounds like a patriotic war drama, is in fact much closer to Hong Kong Girls with Guns action movies, popular at the turn of the 80s and 90s, and if you imagine in the lead role someone like Moon Lee or Sibel Hu, the resemblance becomes as obvious as possible. The movie begins in the 30s of the last century, the war is going on, the governor of the Chinese city Zhang is cooperating with the invading Japanese troops. An attempt to kill him fails, Zhang's wife, who chose the path of resistance, dies, and his daughters are separated, one, Li Qin, stays with her father, and the second, Liwa, is taken under the wing of Gorilla Zhang Yi. Years pass, the girls grow up and meet again. Zhang Yi and the grown-up Liwa, who has changed her name to the revolutionary Hongmei, return to finish what they started and kill the governor, who in turn wants to marry Li Qin to the Japanese officer Ichiro Matsuda. In Lethal Flower, there are not so many full-fledged action scenes, but it doesn't feel that way, thanks to the tightly twisted plot. Zhang Yi and three companions are preparing an assassination attempt on Governor Zhang, and he, in his turn, tries to be proactive. He's hiring two bounty hunters, one of whom, in the best traditions of Bollywood and Hong Kong cinema too, falls in love with Hong Mei, not knowing who she is. Then there will be a meeting of two sisters, transition of lost souls to the side of light, heroic self-sacrifices and sudden resurrections. Just the way we like it. Lethal Flower was made by two directors at once, and despite the fact that neither of them had much experience in directing, the movie looks and sounds quite professional, and the action does not give the impression of a cheap buffoonery. People shoot at each other, blow up things and fight quite convincingly. This, by the way, also makes Lethal Flower similar to the already mentioned above Hong Kong Girls with Guns action films. Those movies were made on a small budget, but by professionals who understood well what they were doing, and within the industry, which has mastered tropes of the action genre. Let's give it a like and wait for new projects in the same spirit, and they will definitely not be long in coming.